this is. You didn't catch me dancing, did you? <laughs> I did not catch you dancing. This is perfect. Okay. You all need Tabasco with ketchup? Uh, I think we're good. Just syrup. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You're not going to want to eat anything? Some chicken Caesar salad and an orange. I don't have my keys. There's no one car. Pretty nice. Oh, look at that. Oh my God! Look at look at the fog. What is up guys? My name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog guys. We traveled about 10 hours yesterday and we are here in South Texas in McAllen, Texas, also known as the Valley. It's a series of cities down here known as the Valley. But we came all the way down here to tour some hobby shops and go to a race tomorrow. Super stoked. We got a lot of stuff ahead of us. Let's get to it. All right guys, the first place we're at is New Sun Racing which they actually have four locations throughout the valley, maybe even, I think four. Yeah, four locations throughout the valley. We're gonna try to hit them all up, but we're at like the main headquarters. And guys, I walked in there already. I, I started freaking out. Ask, ask Ethan, was I freaking out? Yeah. yeah I, was, I was totally freaking out. This place is absolutely amazing. All right guys, I'll show you the outside real quick. Here it is, it's like in this little mini shopping center. They have this nice little sign here, and then they got little ATVs and things like that. I don't know if this is part of theirs or not, but let's go in there. Oh man, I'm so excited. All right. Oh my goodness, guys. I've already been in here, and I'm still freaking out already. Look, they have an upstairs. They have all these kits on the floor here, guys. We're going to go through all these kits because there are some gems in here. I've already set a couple aside for myself. I'll show you what those are later. The Traxxas accessories on the back wall here. Um, okay, let's get, look, look at that, look at that. Look at that, guys. They have, a, they have OGO 9800s. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness, guys. I walked in right there, and I totally walked past all this. I got to go through these. I got to pick up some shirts. Oh, there's my team. Red Bull. Nice. Okay. We're going to go to the left first, and then we're going to work our way through here. This is going to take a while. This might be a, a couple-part video. There might be two parts of this video because I don't want to miss anything because they got so many cool things. Here's some planes. I think this is the one that I need to try to at least start flying in. We got some boats here. We got parts on the parts, so it looks like we have a bunch of pinions and spur gears on here, but look at this. Okay, first off, never seen one of those in person. If I have, I forgot. I've never seen the red Big Rock 6S. That thing's pretty sick. There's the Mojave 4S. Love that car. I'll put a link in the eye above to where I did a review on that one. Oh, man, the Limitless. Those are fun. I'll put a link in the eye above for when I did a review on that also, and I did hit 100 miles an hour on that car that was the first time i've ever hit 100. we have the arma fire team man i remember when they were fire selling these no pun intended yeah fire fire dang, dang it. anyways those super cool we got the infractions got the creighton 4s the granite there's a set in 4x4 look at all these <laughs> meanwhile on my left side we have all the traxxas parts traxxas heavy duty arms up top, we have some crawlers here. I mean, my goodness, guys, there is stuff all over the place. This is this is so freaking awesome. 
Oh my, look at that one. I don't, oh, that's the base camp, but that's the Chevy. That one's pretty sweet. Oh, they have their own line also, New Sun Racing. Looks like some anodized washers. Tracks and parts, which we won't go through those. We got more kits on, oh, look at the Mad Van. I haven't done a review on the Mad Van. Those are pretty sick. Guys, the, the stuff they have here is stuff that is like sold out up north. Like they have such a great stock of stuff. Look at this Datsun. Oh my goodness. That looks good. I mean, I would, if I had a Datsun, that would be the exact spec I would do mine. White with black wheels. Looks so good. Ethan, what's that? Yep, that's, that's Ethan's drift car. Oh, we got that one. We have the Bel Air. I know it's Bel Air, but people like to make fun of me and I think it's funny. The El Camino, the GTO. Look at this. Look at that. I've never even seen that one. Oh my God, they have so many freaking gems here. All right, sorry guys, mega freaking out. Look at these, the King Hauler, the Globe Liner. I've never seen the Globe Liner. Actually, I need to probably send this to Doug. Doug, if I forget to send that to you, sorry, but look what they have here. <laughs> they got some Tamiya big rigs. Look, oh, what's the Grand Hauler. What, guys, what? Seriously, guys, look at this, the Assault Ship. Okay, hold on. All right, relax, Mark. I was gonna go around the other side. Okay, I'm gonna go around the other side because I can't take it. Here's the Tamiya's Super Clod Buster, Wild Willy 2. Looks like between here, oh, that's another. Oh, look, the flat, the flatbed trailer. This is insane. Most people don't stock these things. They have them here. Wow, okay. Take a deep breath, you got this. Ethan keeps trying to get out of the way of the camera. We got him in there. Um, anyways, parts, connectors, some excavators, bulldozers, stuff like that. We have some Traxxas Nitro cars. Look, the Slayer Pro. Uh, you know, I don't know how, how long it's been since I've actually seen the box. I mean, I see the Slayer Pro at Traxxas all the time, but there's the box for it. We have a Nitro Rustler, the T-Max 33, the Jado 33, big time underrated. But I guess this is the uh, the Traxxas Nitro section, which Nitro, you know, it's fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's fun. It's, it's a big headache, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's fun, it's rewarding. This is actually, I love to do Nitro rebuilds and just running Nitros. However, it used to be these were the more powerful cars. Now it's changed and honestly, the electric stuff is just as powerful, if not more powerful, actually more powerful than Nitro stuff. So, all right. We have some Traxxas bodies. Love both those bodies. I have that top one. Don't have that bottom orange one, but that's a cool one. Here is a Western Star. Never even heard of that guy before. Look at these guys. Oh man. They have the 64s. Actually, they don't have six. Oh, there's one 64. They have the 59. They have the Monte Carlo. Look at that paint job. So apparently the way these work is, I think the Monte Carlo doesn't hop but it has hydraulics or something like that. Um, the only hopping ones, this one's a hopping one. Yeah, I don't know for sure, but I do have the 59 at the house. We have to do a review on that soon. We have the Vortex. Look at that. The Hoonigan. There's the Belair. Look at the fleet side. My God, seriously. Here's the uh, Kyosho Tacoma. I did a review on that. I'll put a link in the eye above for that one. The F450 custom trucks. Those are, by the way, those are on sale online. I believe they're 319, and then you can use a coupon code and you can get them for under 300 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below to that deal. And then they have all the OGOs, guys. You know how hard it is to find OGO 9800 rigs, especially mega nice ones. Look at that one. Look at that one, guys. What the heck? That is insane. I've never even seen that one. Look, this one's like the, the America one. You guys know I'm a sucker for OGO 9800s. Insane, actually, I think I have that one. This is insane. Okay, moving on. <laughs> We've only gone through this part of the shop. We still have all that and that. Oh my God, so awesome. We probably should have saved this one for the end, but actually, I don't know, maybe it's good that I have energy for this one. Okay, so infraction, I have two of those. We gotta do a review on those, haven't done that yet. Don't know what that guy is. Check this, 
this out. This looks like a uh, an Ofna. They got XO one, another fire team. There's the Creighton 8S. So I got confused because I saw a Creighton 6S, and the box is massive on the Creighton 6S. I thought maybe it was an 8S, the felony. And then, okay, going back here, we got Stampede, Summits, the Traxxas stuff. They got a whole bunch of Traxxas stuff, needless to say. Stampede 4x4 brushes with the BL2S, Traxxas Maxes, the beautiful, beautiful UDR. Look at this guy. I love that body. That's my favorite UDR, by the way. They have the XRT. XRT. They have, seriously, guys. They have the ultimates. They have the ultimates. They have the ultimates in stock. Insane. X Max. They got the. <laughs> they have the X Max Ultimate too. What? Seriously? <laughs> Look at this. Out of the corner of my eye. You see all that? Look how many mini LMTs they have. The sledge. Golly, this place is absolutely amazing. Okay. All right. Hold on. We didn't. We didn't go up this side. Check out this, guys. This is the Sen Rally car. I haven't done a review on that. That looks pretty cool. What do you think? Should I do a review? I haven't done a review on the the uh, the dually yet. So we'll do that one first. We have the Pro Moto, the SMTs. I have the LMT. Don't have the SMT. Granite 4x4 Mini Bs. Holy smokes. So much stuff. Ethan just pointed this out. I totally missed this. This is actually the brushless mini B. I have this one. I don't have a brushless one yet. But if you guys are looking that way, yes, guys, they have the granite groms. You guys know I've been looking for these things. These are all sold out up north in my area. Sold out at a lot of places. And a lot of places got, you know, two to 400 of these things and they sold out instantly. We're going to get one. Spoiler alert, we're gonna get one. All right, moving on. Here are the Latrax cars, the Teton pre-runner, the Rally, the Mini 28s. I used to have a whole bunch of 28s. I actually just gave a whole bunch away on my live feed. So make sure you tune in my live feeds because I give this stuff away. The Kyosho Mini Z drift cars, those are really cool. Here is, this, so this is apparently their mini section. Here is the Mini Red Cat Volcano 16. Pretty sweet. And then, there's that, that car again. We're probably gonna have to do a review on this soon. Mini Slash, love that thing. Mini Revo, love that thing also. Put a link in the eye above whenever I did a review on the Mini Revo, I've done that soon. Oh, okay, moving on. Mini JRXT, the Rift, Typhon, okay. This is where I started freaking out. So if, I, if my voice starts getting really loud, it's because I really am freaking out. Okay, we got the big rocks, we have yeah, just making sure that was a big rock <laughs> because they have a big rock over there also that is a big rock they have the rift brushless mini b but guys just just sitting out here seriously i have two of these on back order i cannot find them they're just sitting here the team associated rc10 clear edition absolutely insane oh man i can't believe they have it anyways they got the mint 400 trucks these are limited edition they come with limited edition coins i've done a review on that one also here is the Curry, the Low C Razor, the TLR tuned. This is a TLR tuned. I believe this is the Mini LMT. What is this? Oh, it's a TLR tuned LMT. What? I've never even seen this thing. I mean, obviously it exists. I've just never seen it. Guys, I've never seen this thing. Look at it. I mean, apparently this is the full size LMT, but the TLR tuned one. Look, it's got all carbon fiber, like caging and everything. That's pretty sweet. Um, it's really heavy too. Aluminum grades, a limited release. Guys, what am I supposed to do? I mean, geez. All right, moving on. Slashes, obviously you gotta have slashes. A bunch of brushless slashes, slash VXLs. They have the regular slash with the 12 turn, which that's the one I prefer. Let's see, they have their own Lido sacks. That's pretty cool, there you go. New Sun Racing, guys. More slashes. Look at this little guy. A mini dump truck. And then we got a trailer here. Some Traxxas stands, of course. The Traxxas hauler right up front. There's a Corvette combo still there. Very, very cool. Oh, okay, wait, do we go that way? Nope, we gotta go this way. I'm losing track of the, the aisles I'm going down because there's so much. Here is the Traxxas slash ultimate, love that one. 
That's probably my sla my favorite slash 4x4. Actually, it is for sure, 100%. Here's another slash 4x4 VXL. Very, very cool. Actually, this is the brushless one, not the VXL. The Rustler Ultimate, just chilling here. They got them here. Rustler Ult Ultimates, Rustlers, 4x4 VXL. Bandits, love the Bandit. Such an underrated car, guys, especially if you get in the VXL flavor. Drag slashes, Mustang 5.0, DR10s. Wait, what? What? Are you seeing this? They have the, they have the low Z drag trucks here. I, I thought they were sold out everywhere. They have them here. Oh my goodness. I wonder if they'll match online prices. I'm gonna ask them for you guys. I'm gonna ask them. Wow, guys, I'm like, uh, I'm losing it, guys. I'm truly losing it. What's this little guy? Why is this one so small? This is like a, a mini no, what? I knew they had a mini no prep car. I didn't know it looked like this. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh, golly, Mark, get it together. All right, there you go. So it looks like a mini B, but it's a drag car. Very, very cool. Uses the same mini B battery. The entire thing is like a mini B, but it looks like it has like an extended transmission case. That makes it a little bit longer. Let's see what it looks like under it. Look at that. It's an extended chassis. I've actually never seen one of these in real life. This is actually pretty cool. Here's the body. It actually looks really scale with the body on it. That thing looks good. I think I'm calming down a little bit. We just did all that. We still have this to do, and then we're gonna look back behind there, and then we have upstairs, so. We still got a bunch, but dang guys. Oh, we got this too. Dang it. We got a lot. We got a lot to cover. All right. We're just going to go through this section really quick because these are like parts and tires, but they have a whole bunch of T-Reel stuff, which I've never run anything in T-Reel, but the, apparently they're really cool. They look really, really good. I mean, look, look at these axles. Those look legit guys. A bunch of mini stuff. Looks like some LED kits, more mini stuff, a whole crap ton of bodies. They got tires galore back here. More bodies, Arma parts. These look like Arma accessories, bearings, things like that. So, okay, we went through this really quick. Sorry if you guys are mad that we went through that really quick. I'll do just one little quick once over, just in case you want to zoom in or pause on anything here. And I'll do this on the T reel side also. Look at all those pieces. Super nice pieces. Just haven't ran any before, so. Can't really comment on the uh, quality, but I'm sure they're good. They look good, if anything. All right, so I did ask on the drag truck, so they'll match any online price as long as they're in stock. So that's a key. Everywhere online for 150 is sold out, but they do have these for 300 bucks, which is still a great deal. The low C22S drag car. Okay, on this side, looks like they have some new bright stuff, maybe? New bright and some radio shack grade, as I like to call it. This is a Lumatech RC. Apparently, I think just lights up. That's pretty sick. A bunch of mini axials on the back. Look at the little Mario Kart. <laughs> He's on a moped. Oh, so here's a new bright. Some new bright cars here. And then you have TRX4Ms galore. They got a whole bunch of TRX4Ms high trails. Let's see on this side. Looks like they have the regular TRX4M on this side. Oh, we'll go on this side because it looks better. They have the Bigfoot. Oh, I love this truck. I'll put a link in the above whenever I did a review on this truck. I think it's just such a great truck, especially if you're a beginner in RC. You don't plan on racing. and You really just want something to drive outside and have fun. It looks cool. It turns heads. It's fast enough. Um, yeah, really like it. They have the Ford Raptors. There's the Raptor R and then the normal Raptor. I've actually never seen these side by side, but here they are. You can tell the Raptor R is significantly longer than the regular Raptor, but very nice. I think this one's a two-wheel drive though. This is a two-wheel drive and that's a four-wheel drive, so that's the other thing. I can't keep linking all the, uh, the reviews I've done above because I, don't, I can't link that many <laughs> videos. Anyways, they have more TRX-4s. Looks like they have the Defender. They have the Bronco, the Sport. Look at the red, the maroon on that blazer. Just looks amazing. Check it out with the articulation. What a great display. Oh, it looks so freaking good. All right, so we walked in here. We did all this already. God, those OGOs. Every time I see the OGOs, I freak out. And then they got a whole bunch of paints. They have Tamiya paints. They have Traxxas paint. 
spastics paint, and then they have a bunch of chargers, which let's see, let's see my favorite chargers. So, okay, so this is the charger that I use. I use that at the track, and then I also use the 2100, love 2100, and then love that one. I just, I still use 2100. I haven't had a need to bust this one out. But look, they have the completer packs here. Dang, a whole bunch of completer packs. And then obviously, I use the dual live peak charger. Great charger, but whole bunch of chargers here. If you need a charger, you know where to go. All right, we're making our way. We're going upstairs. Now, when we go upstairs, it's not too much RC, but it's pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys. Let's head up. Oh my goodness. Okay, first off, they have a bunch of little guys here like power wheels i don't even think these are power wheels but look at all these hot wheels so i'm not gonna lie i thought about going through every single one of these and looking for the treasure hunts but i'm pretty sure i could just ask them and they know where the treasure hunts are but they have hot wheels galore insane amount of hot wheels my goodness that's a lot and then they have funko pops galore i think that's what they're called right Ethan? Pops? I call them Funko Pops. Pops, I don't know. But they got them here, here. They have them on that back wall, which they have a mini crawler track we're about to go check out in here in a little bit. More Pops. Hot Wheel Monster Trucks. I mean, this is a cool section. If you're not in RC and you just like cars in general, this is awesome. Or if you bring your kids up here and you just want your kids to be happy, buy them Hot Wheels. That's all they need. Something small. And they can choose. Pick and choose like crazy. You know what I would do here? If I had this many Hot Wheels, I would totally do Hot Wheels drag racing. That would be awesome. Check out all the pops. Very cool. <laughs> These are full, guys. They are Funko Pops. I knew it. I knew I was hip. Right? Uh, boomer. Whatever. Call me a boomer. Looks like they're working on their cars over there. Cool. They have like little pit tables. Check out the mini crawler track. Very, very nice. Super cool. Look at, <laughs> look at all these pops. Funko Pops. Funko Pops. Now, now they're Funko Pops, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at this track. This looks like so much fun. <laughs> Holy smokes. What a great way to repurpose an old slide. Looks like maybe some, uh, the foam. Yep, sure is. Dude, that looks amazing. Here we got one we got one going through right now. Very, very cool. There you go. Just just a drift car drifting. That's how that's how they do it here. Very cool. This one's actually pretty sweet too. Very, very nice. Alright, it's pretty busy down there, so we're gonna get this stuff up here, but they got a whole bunch of looks like Vanquish crawler wheels, uh, MIP tools, all their ESC speed controls, motors, everything down there. It looks like batteries on that side. Traxxas accessories all on the back wall. And usually hobby shops put those back there because they're expensive and they're small. It's easy for them to just accidentally walk out, so totally makes sense, but, oh look. I can't believe he's showing that because, you know what, I can't spoil it. Never mind. I'm gonna leave that alone. My goodness, guys. Insane. Here's an overview of the shop and the upstairs. Such a cool store. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this store. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell because we're going to hit, we're going to try to hit all five of them. <laughs> it's going to be a busy day, but it's going to be a lot of fun. But New Sun Racing in McAllen, Texas, beautiful place. So cool. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.